Welcome to Boom Athletics. I am Sean Seberg and welcome to my new series called Knowledge on Nutrition. And what I hope to do with this series here is just kind of teach some of the basics of nutrition. And I know there's already a lot of channels that do that, but there's a lot of people who still don't know some of the basics. And there's also um, a lot of misinformation, which I'll go over later on as well. So what we're going to go over right now is calories and the most basic fundamental nutritional thing you need to know which is a calorie um, and what calories are essentially calories of food if you don't already know calories are what you take into your body and use as energy uh, it's a unit of measurement it's how we measure thermogenesis which is the process of heat production in, in organisms um, it's a way we can record how we use food in relation to anaerobic activity exercise. Uh, so when you're working out, you're burning calories. In order to even do anything in life, you need a calorie anyway. Uh, not like if you don't eat for a day that you, you're not going to be able to do anything. Though some people may be lethargic if they don't eat for 24 or 48 hours. Um, you're going to use calories for energy really basic. Calories for energy. Um, <clears throat> calorie originally was a kcal, which means a thousand calories. Um, back when scientists first started using it, uh, the original term for a calorie, which like I said means uh, was kilocalorie, kcal. Kcal, calorie, same thing. Um, kcal is used in other countries all over the world uh, on their nutritional labels. So this is uh, relevant to that as well. I believe, I believe most countries. I'm not um, not quite sure. I believe most countries do use nutritional facts now on their labels, uh, like we do here in the U.S., which is a great thing because it gives you more information and knowledge as to what you're putting in your body, and hopefully everything's labeled the right way so we all know what's going in our body. Um, we abandoned the, the KCAL term a while ago here in the US and um, basically like I said a KCAL and a calorie mean the same thing uh, and basically a calorie is food energy that's like I said before that's all you really need to know about calories is food energy uh, the body basically uses calories how it needs to uh, that means it will use it for brain functioning. Like 20 percent will be used for brain functioning throughout the day. Um, the, the rest can be used obviously <clears throat> for your workouts, for any type of activity throughout the day, uh, through for your organs, for the tissues in the body. Uh, if your body needs to produce more heat, it will be used for that. Uh, calories break down into um, you know, your, your macronutrients, your micronutrients. Uh, essentially, they're going to be broken down uh, into fats, proteins, fibers, carbohydrates, uh, alcohols, um, you know, different types of different acids. Um, so that's calorie. And, and all I wanted to say besides that is uh, what you need to know about calories and your body weight and losing and gaining weight is this is the se this is the big secret that everyone thinks there is out there to losing or gaining weight. The calorie is the secret. Now whether you ingest more than you need or less than you need, that's how you're going to lose or gain. The more calories you take in over your resting metabolic rate, you are going to gain weight. Now everyone fluctuates slightly and you need um, some background information to determine how much weight you're going to gain. Um, we, we, I'm going to do another video on this and talk about weight gain and then weight loss and stuff like that. So your rest, resting metabolic rate or basal metabolic rate is essentially how many calories you burn throughout the day without doing anything else other than laying around or even maybe standing. Um, but without moving, doing anything, just your body functioning on its own that's your resting metabolic rate and that's exactly how many calories you need in order just to maintain your current weight and your, your state as it is 
Um, as you start to get under that, you lose weight and fat. As you start to get over that, you'll gain weight. It's really as simple as that when it comes to calories. Um, so that's what you need to know about calories. And we'll go over this more in the future. Thanks for watching uh, the new nutritional knowledge series. As always, hit it hard. Boom.